Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Today we're heading into the White Orphanage to uh, learn more about Jude's background and uh, where Yuli's from as well. It looks more like a large-scale medical facility than an orphanage. Other than that, it doesn't look that unusual. This is the block that we lived in. Thinking back on it now, they probably wanted it to look like an orphanage from the outside. Then the clues about my power aren't here, but rather... Yes, they'll be in the underground research facility, inside that dark room. Even while they did all those things to us, the adults on the white coats kept saying, Our task is to evolve the form that life takes. Evolve life? By man's own hand? That's absurd. But that's what they said. Huh. Kind of reminds me of the secret of, evo of evolution in Dragon Quest IV. A lot of things are reminding me of Dragon Quest IV lately, like that thing in Waz, that castle in Waz, the other day that I went through, it reminded me of Dragon Quest IV, that dire palace where all those monsters were. So I'm gonna grab that treasure over there. Those books, by the way, you can just go over here and you can look at all the bu books, and they just tell you various things about the game. Um, nothing too important, but you know it's nice to have. It talks about the gems and how you can, uh, you know, examine the gems. Oh, a broken machine. Well, the power is still on. I thought the machine was broken. I wonder what the power will be on. This place has been abandoned for 10 years and the power is still on. Yeah, right. So here we can use our accelerator mode and get treasure. Come on. With that hourglass. The hourglass reset the accelerator mode so we can continue getting more gold. Awesome. Come on. Come on. Sweet, 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 sweet. Come on. Awesome! Very good, I got it all! Hey, who knew? Seven chains. Okay, this is just saying you can jump and then hit the square button and then pound down on the switch. I'm not that clear on what evolution is, but is it really that special? Special isn't quite it. Evolution isn't something people can just do when they feel like it. For example, say we need people with two or three feet long necks. What should we have to do to make those sorts of people? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of riddle? No, listen. In order to make people with two feet long necks, you put everyone in an environment where two feet long necks are, are necessary, then wait a really long time. Do that, and the necks will probably get two feet long, eventually. Probably? What if they don't? Who knows? Generally, living things that are unable to evolve fail to adapt to their environment and die. Die? It's a story that's been repeated countless times throughout the history of Bogaya. Us humans, too, were born from such evolutionary processes which continue into the present, and... And research to accelerate these processes into the future may have taken place right here. That's what this means? Artificial evolution. It's definitely a little hard to swallow. Yeah, it is. More, uh, Dragon Quest IV reminiscing. Okay, well, Ju can't operate it. But looks like our node can. Very good. There we are. That should restore most of the facility's functionality. You're amazing or not? I didn't know you were so good with machines and stuff. Well, what do you know? What is it? Huh. Oh, it's just that it looks like this terminal gives me access to some interesting things. Interesting things? Leave this sort of thing to him. That's what he's good at. Yeah, I guess that's teamwork too. A league, what? A leelic character, gene manipulation, ribosomes, olagenes, polygenes, environmental adaptation, mutation, transition, nanotechnology. Haha, <laughs> what the hell? They really were working on accelerating evolution. It sounds ridiculous, but just like Yuli said, it looks like this really was an artificial evolution research facility. But how could they actually accomplish such a thing? Using viruses to alter genes. The acceleration of evolution with nanotechnology. That's tough for a regular human being like me to believe. Huh? What do you mean? Put it simply, the evolutionary process that I explained to you a few minutes ago is called natural selection. It's a common theory that's been held for a long time. Uh-huh. With natural selection, environmental and other factors can lead to some selection, but actual examples of evolution are rare. Consequently, a large number of evolutionary hypotheses have been proposed. One of them is the theory of viral evolution. 
Uh huh. It's nice that you're paying attention, but you don't have to pretend to understand. Oh. Yuli, you must understand at least a little about your power, but since it's so extraordinary, you decided that rather than tell us yourself, it'd be easier if we learned about it here. Am I right? Yes. I'm so sorry. It's okay. This was your way of telling us about yourself, right? Well, I don't know everything about it myself, but I can tell you that my foster father, who was originally a researcher here, told me after the facility was closed. I think it might give us some clues about Jude's power. My power? You don't need nanotechnology and all that crap to, uh, to evolve. And this is Dragon Quest IV. All you need is a golden bracelet. What the hell are you talking about? Just get a golden bracelet and you're good. That's it. That's all you need. So we're going to go over here, grab this tool, swing it, make it a fire staff, and light the flame. Okay, so that lights that pot, but there's another pot that we saw earlier in floor one. And I'm going to cut to that pot, and then I'll meet you there on the first floor. Okay, I am back on the first floor. We're just going to swing the staff right here, light up this pot. So open up this door, head on the side. Uh, let's see. Drop down up here. And drop it. And what do we got here? Ooh, an Arctic Blade. Sure. Extra challenge? What's that about? Wait, there it is. A ROM of the Legendary Extra Challenge game. Huh. And then this guy right here. Yeah. Uh, you need a special item to open up that. That's going to be a super boss later on. So uh, anyway, that's all we can do here. So I'm going to cut back to Area 5. Meet you there. Back in Room 5. Let's keep on moving. And then we have a random battle. Who are you? Let's see what we got here. Reed Busters, weak to water and machine type. Have you seen them before? I don't remember. I'll show them anyway, why not? If we've seen them, I'll edit them out. Okay, get some gemstones, very nice. And, uh, oh, that's where you are, so we're here. Move and attack is so broken, it's amazing. I love it. Just move her to the center, where the hell she is, and then boom, she could pretty much kill whatever she wants to. Ooh, reflex apple, nice. That raises your agility by one point. Okay, keep on going. Make sure that you bring a staff with you, but here I want to drop the staff. To jump over here to get some treasure. What do we got? Ooh, a lucky card, very nice. And a Gala card. Oh, perfect for the upcoming boss that we have. That'll come in real handy. Now, these guys... Ooh, that's no good. Here we go. Planaria. Let's check them out. Okay, weak to fire. Oh, they're soft. Okay, that sucks. Um, yeah, let's just go... Oh, and I don't even have a fire... I don't even have a fire lay point. That's no good. Um... What kind of move hurts to? Oh, the water one, but they have water. Um, I guess water's better than nothing, though. Because I would like to get her material going on. Uh, she got an ability, which is actually quite nice, where you start the battle with 25 FP. So, if she starts the battle on a late point already, um, and she goes first, she can just material and pretty much kill everything. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, and she's coming up for the next enemy, so I can, uh... I'll make you feel my pain. Well, they're weak. Well, they're not weak, but they're strong against water, so I don't know how well it's going to do. But, eh, it's better than nothing. Be so let's give it a shot. Let's use the water material. Fast forward! Do all that. Oh, perfect. It did its job. It's all I needed to do was kill him. I don't care how it kills him, as long as it kills him. Okay, keep on moving. And then we're going to want to grab that staff again. There it is. And, uh, you know what, let's check the accelerator. Oh, there's nothing really going on with the accelerator. I was hoping that, you know, it's another long, narrow hallway that maybe there might be some more gems or something, but... No, no such luck. Just 
head on into this door right here. Who are these guys? Let's see what we got here. Empusa, they're weak to water. Okay. And thank god they're not soft uh, material, but let's just go ahead and kill them. Ooh. Oh, and the water lake was already taken up by that enemy. That sucks. Um. Now, it's gonna attack. Yeah, that'll be good. That should be enough. Hopefully, between his attack and Yuli's attack, that should do enough to kill this guy. Well, for Kelgo, she could just bust him out, too. Eh, go ahead and kill this one. Why not? I have two characters over there that can take care of that. Ugh, too bad their attack sucks. But shockingly, Yuli's attack is actually pretty decent. It's a lot better than, um, Arnaud's attack by, like, double. Very nice. Okay, and up we go. And we have some more pots that we have to light over here. Uh, let's go down here. Ooh, and there's the pot that's on fire. So let's go ahead and swing it, get a nice fire staff. And what we have to do is light all three of these pots at the same time. But you have to use accelerator mode in order to do it. So I'm going to try it this way. Here we go. So accelerator mode. Light those fires. No, light the fire, light the fire, light the fire. Sweet! Awesome. Ooh, look at all this. Yes. Woohoo! I'm doing very well. So just drop it and then go on up here, over here into the right hand room. Oh, it's already well, I know it's already open, my god. I thought I went inside the room. Uh oh, I want to jump stomp the box. Oh, look at that. You can go all the way down. Kinda cool. Uh oh. Oh, you know what you can do? You can slide. Yeah, there you go. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Bam! Whee! Um, and then down through this door right here. And, um, what do we got here? Whee! There's another door over there. I want to go down over here and destroy these boxes. For some treasure! It's actually easier just to slide into them, bust the crap out of them. There you go. Okay, perfect. Ooh, got some altar parts. That'll be used to, uh, to redo your arm. Now, if this is your second playthrough of the game, or you loaded uh, altar code F data or something like that, there would be a red chest in there. But you don't need to worry about that right now. I took care of those losers. Let's keep on going. And... I just gotta go flying through. Oh, that's an accelerator mode. No, I don't see anything. But it's always nice to check. And who are you? No oh, shit. How can that be? Well, I remember someone reactivating the facility. Now it's my fault? This isn't the time, you two. If you stand there arguing, it's going to get us. Okay, this guy, he can poison the hexes, and he also uses earth magic. He doesn't have that much HP, though, but he's not weak to anything, which is kind of a pain. I'm going to just use phantom line on him. Have you lined up nicely for me? Very good. He is pretty fast, though. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, so let's move him out of this. Uh, you know what? I can use jump, because I want to say I have that jump and act uh, thing going on. Ooh, and it moved both of us out of the hex. Very nice. So now I can act, so I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use shut out, and that locks the hex, so it forces him to stay inside of that hex, which is really nice, actually. As long as we can survive. But I'll just heal us up and we should be fine. Um, and the reason why I want him locked inside the hex is because then I can fragile him and lower his defense, and then I can also slow him down to lower his speed. And the nice. Okay, poison him. Ooh, Comet Strike is nice. Let's use Comet Strike. Um, 
But anyway, it let's say that I used um, you slow down and then used fragile on him, but then he just moves out of the hex and I have to do it all over again. Oh shit! Let's jump out of the hex. So jump uh, somewhere better. Let's jump over here. That'll get us away from his attack as well. And then I can just. So now I'm gonna fragile him. And he can't leave this hex, so he's always going to be fragile. And he also can't attack Yulian or Nod or Jude. He can only really attack uh, Raquel, which is really kind of nice. Because she can take it. She doesn't have great defense, but uh, she can take it a lot better than this two mages can. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing very good. Uh, let's see. I can heal. Or you know what? No, I can't use material. I'm going to heal. Who am I going to heal? I'll heal up her because she's low CP, and she's right next to him. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's no good. Let's use another phantom line. Oh, shit! I forgot to use the Mystic, the mystic Lucky card. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. And he's dead anyway. My god. Um, I don't want to kill him just yet, because I want to have him come back. Let's use a slowdown on him. Yeah, let's use a slowdown. So hopefully I can get Yuli's turn in. This should be interesting. Uh, I need to get her out of here. Let's uh move her oh, poison. Let's move her over here. Only oh, to get poison again. But this will be fine because then I can go ahead and revive uh what's his face? Jude. Be my God. There we go, very good. I don't want to waste any more revive seeds when I have to, and then just blast the 11 crap out of him, and call it a day. Did their research produce this thing? Uh, I wish I was able to use that doubled lucky card. That would be really nice. What the heck was that? Here they manipulated genes, and sought to evolve life into new forms. The evolutionary mutant that attacked us just now, it was an unnatural life form. It was created by twisting other pre-existing life forms into something new. Some form of previously existing life forms? You mean like animals or insects? Or you can't mean... The facility took in quite a, no quite a large number of children. Bitter medicines, the intense pain from immune rejection, the isolated operating table in which I had spent so much time, that's what my days were like. And as time passed, all my friends disappeared, one by one. Now that the facility is closed, even the children that were left there were probably... Ooh, Yuli's father's kind of hot, got a sign. Don't cry, Yuli! I'm leaving so that I can better protect you, alright? So please, stop crying, okay? And it's not just you. I'm going to protect the entire world. I'm going to assure a future in which everyone can live in peace. I have to go now, so please don't cry. I'd like to hear you sing, like you always used to do. If you sing for me, I won't feel lonely either, so please, Yuli. Yuli? What's wrong? You're spacing out. I'm sorry. I was just remembering some things that happened a long time ago. And we will continue exploring the White Orphanage next time. And let's play Wild Arms 4. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.